Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading on the subject of your key to manifesting the life of your dreams. Okay so I just want you to focus as usual and see what you feel drawn to. We've got pile one, tiger's eye, pile two, clear quartz and pile three, amethyst. So either feel which crystal or which number you feel drawn to and I'll start your reading. Okay, for group number one, the Tiger's Eye group, let's see what you've got. So, your cards from the Vortex cards, the Abraham Hicks Vortex cards, says, my imagination attracts all cooperative relationships. So, really just be aware of what you're thinking, what you're imagining, what you're feeling on a daily basis and also what your thoughts and feelings are about people and about whether it's possible for you to actually have a supportive peer group around you. Be really careful about the energy that you decide to remain in, in terms of who you stay with and uh, who you spend time with and yeah and who you stay with because you know if you if you stay somewhere for a long period of time you will definitely absorb the consciousness of the people that you're with so imagine give yourself time to dream and imagine exactly the sort of people that you want to spend time with the sort of energy that you want to create um you know it's not about uh, just ignoring your friends and being selective and and you know massaging relationships that might be helpful or beneficial to you. I just feel it's much more to do with who is your tribe? Where do you resonate? Who do you want to be with? What type of people bring out the best in you? Where do you really feel that you can be comfortable, not have to explain yourself, not have, not feel criticised, not feel misunderstood, feel that you can just open your heart because when you can open your heart, you can open up a huge manifesting portal. That's my feeling and my sense about this card. So when you imagine, you might want to journal as well, to help you with future imaginations. You know, you might not actually have a clear idea of what those people look and feel like yet because you might never have had that before. So sit down, think of a group that you know of or think of people that you've met in the past. Think of people around you who, you know, it feels really good to be with, whose energy really vibrates on the same frequency as yours. Um, people that you've manifested well with or worked well with in the past. And just draw up a list of qualities that the people you want to work with or cooperate with or be in a relationship with will have. So in future when you sit down to manifest that or when you manifest that part of your dream life you'll have a really clear idea of what that looks like okay um yeah i think that's it for that card that's quite a lot because to me the card the vortex card which this is the deck that I've chosen to really guide the manifesting readings. So whatever that card says, I feel is the main point of, of the reading for this for the group. So for this group, you really need to be able to imagine um, who you want to work with and how those relationships, how cooperative relationships feel. You've also got Madonna and Mothering. You've got the King of Cups, you've got the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. I love all of this. So so this card is really um, about taking care of the mothering energy within yourself. So making sure that you're right with it somehow. So you might have mother issues that you need to deal. You might need to heal something within you about your mother or about mothering in general. Your mother, your ability to be a mother, your fears about being a mother, your your disappointment about not being a mother. Any Anything in that area could be coming up 
with regard to what you're manifesting at this point. For some of you, maybe that is what you're manifesting, that you would like to be a mother, that you would like to have a divine partnership in which you can co-create motherhood and fatherhood and, you know, a beautiful family. So, but this seems to be one of the big keys to you as well because it's right next to the card of imagining cooperative relationships so your cooperative relationships that you might need to reimagine could be to do with your your mother or mothering or they could be to do with um yeah so so it could be your children you know it could be something about the way that your relationship is with your children or it could be the way that your relationship is with your parents something there that needs to be healed and um, if not then you need to think about how you're mothering yourself are you taking care of yourself are you looking after your emotions so the king of cups that can be someone who's who's created a really good um, family and relationships but they're not satisfied creatively, they're not nurtured, they're not feeling held, they're not feeling that the life they've created is about them, is giving them anything. So, you know, how are you looking after yourself? How are you looking after your inner child? And the Ace of Cups to me tells me that you need to use your heart energy in a really powerful way with your manifesting. And we sort of mentioned that at the beginning because, you know, talking about the people that you spend the most time with, if you can't open your heart around them then it means that you are not opening your heart generally and it's very hard to manifest with an open heart or with toxic energy around you or if you're too tired or if you feel you know down or depressed in any way so all of these things need to come together and I feel for you it really is about the emotions about opening your heart about forgiving the past and about letting the love flow through you being a channel for divine love if you can channel that ultimate divine love you know the ace of cups you've got the two ends of the scale the ace and the king the beginning and the end you know the alpha and the omega if you can harness that that quality of love within you where you just see everything through the eyes of love you see everything and everyone lovingly and you can place the energy firmly in your heart you, that's the key to manifesting the life of your dreams that's it we almost don't want to pull, need to pull any more cards but let's go with it let's see what we've got playtime perfect also resonates totally with that and again I'm noticing more blue lots of blue here and you know in a lot of decks the cups cards are all very blue you know very much to do with the emotions and those Piscean um, Neptunian uh, sorts of, of vibrations so wear blue you know the color blue I feel is going to be very powerful for you as well and the throat chakra as well so the heart and the throat chakra for you are going to be very important uh, to to act uh, to activate important chakras for you to activate in order for you to manifest the life of your dreams and I'm feeling a resonance with this actually because it's interesting that that was stumbling to come out so thank you spirit for that message as well I wasn't expecting that play do what you love, be creative, allow yourself to be creative because there is a longing within you to express your heart and to be very, very creative. So through the heart and through creativity is how you're going to manifest your, the life of your dreams. So for some of you, you are actually creative people who are not giving yourself the opportunity to be creative. So that is a really important message that's coming through from the King of Cups and coming through from Playtime. So dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. It's exactly the same message, which is amazing. So, so get into the joy vibration by doing something that you love and get into your heart and you can manifest pretty much anything. What else have we got? We've got you know what to do. So for some of you, you know exactly what this creative thing is that you need to be doing, that you need to be spending time on, that you need to be nurturing. So, you know, do it. Do it because you love it, not just because, you know, you know that it will help you to manifest, but do it because you love it and trust that by doing what you love, you will be able to get into the, the manifesting vibration. You know, there are lots of vibrations that are great for manifestation. Um, gratitude, love, joy, creativity, fun, freedom, all of these things, all of these experiences are great. You know, connection with spirit, letting it all flow through you. And there are some that are not so great. And if you're hanging out in the ones that are not so great, turn away from them 
for a while, for a little while every day and turn towards some sort of creative expression or heart expression, something that brings you joy. And Ah, interesting. So this group, it's quite possible, you've got career transition. It's quite possible that for you, the key to manifesting the life of your dreams will actually involve, be a career change. Some kind of change, some kind of move into a new career situation physically. So, and with all of these cards, I have to say it looks as if it's a more creative move. It's a move into doing what your heart is really genuinely calling you to do, to express your your pure heart, soul and spirit. And then you will start to see miracles un, un, unraveling before your eyes, you know, coming, you know, just appearing, things just appearing out of nowhere and people offering to, to help and, and asking to collaborate and things just materializing as and when you need them. This feels very abundant and very exciting, actually. And, and all of the cards are really congruent. This is really great. So if your question is about that, as well then you know take it how it resonates for you and obviously operate always from a place of free will and total responsibility for your choices but that does look like a very exciting thing for you that you know you will manifest the life of your dreams by doing what you love in a nutshell <laughs> okay i hope you enjoyed that group number one take care and um i'll speak to you soon bye Okay, and group number two, the clear quartz group. Let's see what you've got. So let's look at your vortex card first. You've got, I intend to co-create from my place of positive attraction. Okay, so from your place of positive attraction. Basically, you're being reminded here to get into a more positive vibration and it seems really obvious which is why I'm hesitating because you know we all know that we have to be in a really positive place to manifest but I just feel it's worth reminding you that that's a really important aspect of your manifestation that you might currently be overlooking it might be that you've allowed yourself to get despondent that you've allowed yourself to to not see the, the possibility of a positive outcome for some time and you need to be reminded that in order for you to attract what you want you do need to stay in a place of positive outcome, uh, positive expectation and positive attraction. Not thinking, when is my, if you're thinking, when is this manifestation going to come? You're not, <laughs> I suspect, not in a place of positive attraction. And I know, honestly, I know how hard it is to stay there consistently, but that is the key. That's what's coming through on your, on your card. That's the card that came up for you. So I'm going to see that as the main focus of your reading. So let's see what else you've got to go with that. Fantastic. You've got Warrior of Light. What that tells me is that you've actually had to fight through an awful lot of stuff to get to where you are today. So you're one of those, <laughs> I've just heard, in the trenches. You're one of those light workers who's been in the trenches for quite a while, you know, working through your stuff, dealing with the lower energies, learning how to clear stuff and cleanse things and cle cleaning and cleaning and cleaning the planet and yourself and everyone else. And you are a supreme warrior of light. But sometimes there are battle scars and sometimes those scars are the things that keep bring a, bringing us back to a place of doubt because you know well if I have this gift and this ability and I can change this for this person and that person and do this and do that how come I can't give myself an amazing life there's a little bit of that and I feel that that is because these two are together that is the area of possible not such positivity for you okay I'm not going to call it negativity because that's judgy and you have every right to feel like this if you've been through what I think you've been through <laughs> but it's just you know to answer the question of what is and I feel there's a what is you know your key to manifesting your dream life I do feel there is a lot of healing coming through for this group at the moment I'm starting to get very very um you know a lot of that energy that warm energy coming through me as I'm speaking so be aware that your guides and your angels and helpers are working with you to help you through out of the dark times and into this time back 
into this time of positivity. Oh, I've got your tarot's coming up already. Well, let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, good, 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 good. And the Four of Pentacles. So you're coming to a place now where you're actually, it's very close that you're going to actually start to manifest and materialise some kind of um, physical material stability and, and proof of you know, your deservingness, if you like, and proof of your hard work, rewards for your hard work. And you're being reminded that a part of your positivity is believing that it's going to stay around, believing and trusting that you're not going to lose it. The Four of Pentacles, holding on, hoarding, thinking, oh my God, I can't let this go. This has finally come through for me. I, I need to hold on to it. I need to make it work. You know, it's you know, if you really are in that place of positive attraction, and I'm not telling anyone to do anything crazy, that would be very irresponsible, and I want you to take 100% responsibility for all your choices and be sensible, but I feel that, you know, I need to say to you that it's not a place of positive attraction if you believe that it's all going to go leave you, and you hold on to it and that holding on becomes a contraction of your energy that shuts down your manifesting ability so stay open stay abundant say yes thank you and yes please yes and yes okay great so that's how, uh, that's just the beginning great i believe that i can see that it's possible that with the fighting that you've had to do you can come back very easily to a place of thinking you're always going to be fighting you know that's not what this is what you're being asked to do is to stay in a place where you ride out that wave past that feeling of, you know, expecting to be brought back down again. You ride out past that into territory that you've never experienced before, possibly. A breakthrough, okay? You need a breakthrough. Great, that's looking good. So let's see, what's going to help you with the breakthrough? Simplify your life get any help that you need don't feel you have to do everything yourself i've just heard a multitasker so for some of you someone out there is a real multitasker and really prides themselves on it but you know remember sometimes all the things the little details that you're oh i wonder if some of you are virgos <laughs> Sorry, I totally recognise this vibration. Remember all the little details that you might be sort of pouring over. Um, they're not necessarily things that you have to do yourself. So if you can delegate some of them, do that so you have more time to spend on your broader vision. And that is also a place of positive attraction. That is going to bring you to a place of positive attraction because you will feel less bogged down in the details and the little... Uh, you know, tasks, the the um, practical tasks, and more able to stay in connection with the higher work or the inspired work or the, the creative work or the things that you love, basically. So simplify your life. Um, and also, yes, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Try to get yourself into a peaceful place before you manifest as well, because... If you've been through a lot, it's quite possible that you've gotten to a pattern of feeling stressed and expecting to keep feeling stressed. And if stress has become a habit, a routine way of feeling for you, you're going to need to also work on getting calm. You know, being calm before you start to visualise, before you start to picture what you want is really key because quite often when we think we're in a place of, of positive attraction, we're not. We're actually highly stressed about why the heck the manifestation hasn't happened yet. So learn to discern, learn to really feel into your body what are you actually feeling if you sit down and you're manifesting and you suddenly realise that your heart's racing and you're not breathing properly work on that work for a couple of weeks well I heard months but I don't want to scare anyone because <laughs> I know how impatient we can be work for a couple of months if necessary or a couple of weeks on just getting your breathing right just getting yourself to a place of peace and balance especially if you've been through a lot and then start to manifest and then make sure that you make that a daily practice to keep coming back to a place of peace Okay, peace and balance before you start picturing things because you're manifesting a frequency and it's very easy for us to think that we're in a positive place. Very easy. I feel as if I'm repeating myself now, but they're saying it, it 
it's worth repeating. It's easy for us to feel, to think that we're in a positive place, but for our feelings and our vibrations to be emanating something entirely different, okay? And the body, noticing the body is one of those little details that can help you to understand how to make that shift rather than for it to simply be an idea. I know, you know, Abraham says we need to get it on the same vibration as what we're manifesting but what does that actually mean ah let me check my body if i have the life of my dreams when i have the life of my dreams will i be feeling breathless and stressed out and, and having heart palpitations probably not okay so then how can i get myself to sit down and breathe and feel peaceful before i start um trying to generate the feelings of ecstasy and excitement and and all the the great feelings that I'll be feeling when I manifest so I hope that helps I know that's going to make sense to some some of you and I hope it helps you right so final card we've got here is leadership oh I just got chills with that so very powerful for you to hear at this time that you are a leader that all of the struggles that you've been through have been taking you to this place of leadership and part of the leadership is holding that place of positive attraction and showing others how to do that that's it for you group number two i think i think if you take all of that you know to heart and you listen to it again maybe it might help you you're going to be able to manifest anything all right so i hope that helped you take care and i'll speak to you soon bye okay so Group number three, the Amethyst group. You've got, I intend to see the best in everyone. This is your Abraham card, your Vortex card. You've got the Three of Wands. You've got the Knight of Swords. You've got Courage. So this is what I feel about this. You've got, I intend to see the best in everyone, which means you need at the moment to actually exert some effort towards doing this. That's the sense I'm getting from that card, which means there's something, possibly someone that's been blocking you recently or that you perceive that way. You feel things to be that way because you've got um, the three of wands, which means, okay, you've, you've, chosen something you've decided something or you would like something to happen you've been putting the feelers out about something or you've been applying to things and nothing you know you're waiting to see what's happening so far nothing's come back but it looks as if something good could be happening and then you've got on the right be courageous and stand up for your beliefs and you've got the knight of swords between those two things so it's possible that something or someone seems to be standing in the way of your ability to stay in a good space and see the best in everyone, if that makes sense. So someone possibly casting aspersions, casting doubt on your choices, on your self-belief, you know, maybe knocking you down, maybe, you know, making you just feel off balance in some way uh, it's just something toxic that means that you have to keep standing up for yourself and fighting for yourself and that in itself is not a good vibration to be manifesting from because you're constantly being pulled back down into shadow into darkness into uh, uh, not believing and um that although it's an opportunity to heal because obviously that situation is there because there's a need for some inner healing. Although it's an opportunity to see what the healing is and to begin to heal, it's not that helpful in terms of your manifesting. But once you do the, the healing that allows you to begin to see the best in everyone, or at least to remove yourself from those energies so that you can feel in balance again, that's when you're gonna to start to manifest. So basically it feels as if there's, there could be, and that might not be a person, it could be an energy within you and you know, but it could if it's a person it's an air sign gemini libra aquarius someone who is very uh logical um inter intellect based who you know needs to see the proof of things need to to see you know if even if they're not an air sign they have these qualities they need to see that things are realistic let's say in quotes they need to see the proof of things they need to see you being sensible or making sense or just something that sort of casts doubt on your own judgment and your inner sense of of 
rightness, you know, your uncommon sense, your intuition. And um, so at the moment you could be struggling to see the best in everyone. You could be struggling to, and that's what's keeping you out of the vibration that you need to manifest in. So how can you get to that place? How can you get to the place of seeing the best in everyone? By, by simply breathing, removing yourself, trusting and knowing that everyone in, in, your life, well, we all need to do this. Everyone in our lives is showing us something, is teaching us something, is reflecting something, um, an inner belief that we have, something that we we feel is true about ourselves. It's not them, it's a hologram, it's, it's a mirror, it's a sign of something that needs to be healed. And it, when you can do that, then you can begin to see the best in everyone because they're just, you know, we're all connected and they're just showing you something within yourself that needs to be healed. But that's all good and well. If someone's clubbing you over a head, it's not necess over the head, it's not necessarily all that easy to see it. So you might want to remove yourself from this situation, do some healing, damage, damage limitation and repairing and step back and get some perspective so that you can actually see what you feel, what's going on within you and what it is that you need to heal. And if it is something that's within you, you know, it could be the logical side of of yourself that's actually getting in the way. It could be that you're you're judging and, and criticizing people and being suspicious and thinking oh, no one's going to help me, no one's going to believe in me, no one's going to see this. Well maybe you need to do all those things for yourself at this point because that's all just a reflection of your inner world if it does work out that way. Okay. Sorry group number three, my camera decided it needed to be uh, the batteries needed recharging. So your key, anyway, your key to manifesting the life of your dreams is somehow getting yourself back into a place emotionally, spiritually, temperamentally, where you are able to see the best in everyone. And if it means that you do that by accepting that everyone is a mirror, or if you do that by removing yourself from toxic environments and people and finding a new group of people to be with, or if it's just by, you know, doing the healing from, from the past, from the present, which is obviously just a reflection of the past as well, that you need to do to bring yourself back into balance. That's going to be your key to manifesting because you can't manifest when you're constantly being drawn back into this energy of doubt or if you're holding within your vibration in a really strong way feelings of resentment, of anger, of frustration towards someone who kind of seems to be holding you back or if you're doing that towards yourself or feeling that about yourself so when you start to make those changes or if you can just elevate your mind even within the circumstances to see from a higher place exactly the, pl the part that everyone in your life is playing in your life then you can raise your vibra vibration back up and begin to manifest again having said that it can be very difficult to do that because toxic um, relationships can bring up a lot of anxiety in the body that make it very difficult to get calm, to stay in a place of calm and balance that is required for manifesting. So you might need to rethink a few things there and if that doesn't apply to you then it might simply be that I don't know you have colleagues that you find uh, make you feel stressful or there's family stuff that needs to be resolved and you just whatever it is you need to just be able to let go and take the higher perspective on all of it and uh, and that is the key to your manifesting it could be I feel for some of you there are a lot of family connections and other relationships, friendships possibly, that are there particularly to, to teach you this, to show you this, to show you how to love and value and treasure yourself and also how to how to see the divine plan in everything and how to love. Everything here is an opportunity to learn how to love a bit more, isn't it? And it's not always easy. If it was easy, then it wouldn't be learning, would it? We, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be learning anything. If you already knew it, you probably wouldn't be on this planet, you know? So, okay, let's see what else. Compassion. That's amazing, isn't it? So, 
love and compassion and seeing the best in everyone, including yourself. So it's important to have compassion towards yourself. And it might be that having compassion towards yourself means walking away from some connections or giving yourself time and space. You know, you can't necessarily walk away from everyone. You don't necessarily always want to walk away from family or, you know, that's not always an easy thing to do. It might not be necessary. It might be possible for you to just spend as much time as you need alone, healing yourself in solitude, doing things that you love, you know, loving yourself, bringing yourself back to a place of balance so that you can actually see the wood for the trees, see clearly. I don't know why they just said see the wood for the trees and just said it quite pointedly. Ah, oh, thank you. Right. Because for some people, it's really important to get out in nature and to just be away from too many people's energies. I feel that this group is the group that's actually feeling that sensitivity that you know they get pulled into these vibrations very easily and that is knocking your manifesting off balance as well so if you can get out into nature and clear it or just make a habit of clearing your energy whenever you need to go and sit sit by a lake watch the water sit with your back to a tree or hug a tree or lie on the grass you know the empaths out there will know exactly what I mean. You need to heal yourself regularly and um, and that will that will bring you back to a place where you can see the higher perspective in all of this. Okay, so because seeing the best in everyone is feeling good, you know, if you can actually do that really and genuinely, not just because it will be good for your manifesting, you're going to feel a whole lot better. You're going to raise your vibration. You're going to feel better about life, about everything. OK, and it's I know it's a lot to ask sometimes, but that is the key for you. OK, the key to feeling better and the key to manifesting the life of your dreams. OK, also self-employment. So whoops, upside down self. Oh, how amazing that you've got codependency here, which codependency sometimes sounds like a criticism. And I am really, really against victim shaming and the victim shaming culture that we've somehow been drawn into in these weird times. But, um, you know, so it's not a criticism. I would like to say it slightly differently. I mean, I know that that's not that's not what the card means either. The cards are utterly beautiful. But what it is, is um, this is a reminder to you that if you allow yourself to stay locked into situations that do not serve your highest good or where you're trying to fix and save and rescue everyone else to the detriment of your own happiness and well-being, you know, that is obviously going to have an, an a destabilizing effect on you and, and a negative effect on your quality of life. And obviously, ultimately, it follows that it's going to affect your ability to manifest. So break away from anything that feels like that, that feels as if you are constantly sacrificing yourself for the happiness of others. OK, and show more compassion towards yourself. I'm sorry, this one's a bit heavy, but I hope that it will it won't be meaningful for um, for this group. Also, I feel this group, another key to your manifesting is that you need to work for yourself, ideally. You need to work for yourself and you need to be able to put all that time and energy and effort into something that you love or into something that's yours. I feel that whatever you do, you do it 10 times more than everyone else does it because this is the group <laughs> that does that, you know, that, that is a, a little bit sort of hard on yourself and self-sacrificing and then you end up in a, in a situation where possibly people sometimes take advantage or it feels that way and then you lose your ability to see the good in everyone. Um, take care of yourself, take care of yourself and only give what you can of yourself and um, and that a big part of that you know is to put yourself into a situation where you can do work that's meaningful and that you will actually gain benefit from rather than minimum wage. <laughs> I, hope that, I hope that makes sense to someone. I mean real benefit and a legacy and a sense of something that you can you can have in the future and grow and develop and the more you put in the more you receive back from it. This group needs to learn to receive and then you will feel much more loving towards yourself and 
everyone else and that is the key to your manifesting. All right, I hope you enjoyed that group number three and um, it's been a pleasure to do this reading for you. I wish you all the very best and if you'd like to work with me or um, have a reading with me, see the links below and if not, I'm sure I will speak to you again soon. Okay, bye. Thank you.